up with the ball. A great first half of football for West Virginia as they lay Florida 16 to nothing, and their fans are going mad. They love it. Now let's go down to the field. Dick Stockton and the West Virginia coach, Don Nealon. It was never this much fun with Bo Schemmeckler, was it, in Michigan? Oh, yeah, it really was, <laughs> sometimes. Two years it's taken to bring Don Neal and the Mountaineers back into the bowl picture, and what a shocker it is. You're totally dominating this Florida club. I know in your wildest dreams you didn't expect it to be like this at halftime. What's behind it, Don? Well, I think our kids, you know, came down here. A lot of folks didn't think we could play football, and, you know, our kids kind of felt they could. But let me say this to you, this game's a long way from being over because that's a great football team in the other locker room and we're going to have to play better the second half. Scores nothing, nothing right now. Don, the conditions have any effect going into this game? It seems to me that Florida, team that likes to throw a crisp team, not used to this weather, not to take anything away from your effort, a little tentative. What do you think? Well, I'll be honest, we were hoping for a little cold weather, and I didn't mind the rain, to be honest about it. I was happy they had the field covered, but, you know, we like to throw as much as Florida, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, that's a nice walk-on field goal kicker you had, huh? I love him. Paul Woodside. Thank you, Don. See you later. Well, he's sky high, as his Mountaineer team is. A 50-yard field goal, three out of four, as Frank Lieber has told you about, and Oliver Luck coolly and calmly has directed the West Virginia Mountaineers to a 16 to nothing lead over Florida in a game no one expected at this point here in the 14th annual Peach Bowl. Well, we'll return with halftime activities from the Peach Bowl after this commercial message from 